I'm Cameron Arsenault, and I would like to tell you about a book I read called The Journal of Ben Uchida. This book is a this book is about a Japanese boy, a Japanese American boy who is sent to concentration camp during World War II. He um I um he then has to he then has to endure the um the many ups and downs of what a concentration camp has and can't wait for World War II to be over. Um, I love the way that Barry Denenberg put the put the book at his put the book in his point of view. That makes it so much more interesting. I hope you enjoy reading this book just just as much as I do. And you can find it at the Kingwood Library. Hello, my name is Catherine Sheldon and one of my favorite books books are um, Orphan uh, Orphan Trained Children and it is about it is written about these orphans who go on a train out west to find uh, homes and better lives. And it was read, written by Joan Lor Nixon. And one of my favorite books is Colonial Williamsburg. It's about Williamsburg during the Revolution War. Um, right now, it is written by Joan Lawyer Nixon. And it's about this boy, and he has to try to find if he wants to be a patriot or if he wants to be loyalist. And in the end, he's a patriot. Hi. I'm Miss Connie, the children's librarian, and I have two more books. You can't afford to miss. The first is called Chicks and Salsa by Aaron Reynolds. And the chicksons get a little tired of chicken feed and the rooster decides it's his job to solve the problem. So he watches some daytime TV and comes up with salsa. He and the chicks make chickens make salsa and have a great time, which makes the ducks kind of jealous and they're tired of fish. And it goes on from there and everything is really cool. They're getting ready for a fiesta when the whole thing gets stolen. There's nothing left in the garden. And you have to see what happens when the rooster decides to solve that problem with an ole and an ooh la la. You gotta read chicks and salsa. And once you settle down from that, and by the way, there is some great recipes for hog wild nachos and guacamole in the back of the book that you just might want to try. But then the big game comes up and everything is fine. They're Ducks have supplied the guacamole and the horses have relocated the TV and they're all ready for the big game when Rooster decides there's something missing. He heads for his recipe book and buffalo wings. But he doesn't have a buffalo, so he's off on a wild road trip. If you want to find out how Rooster manages to acquire some buffalo wings, and get a good recipe for half-time jalapeno hush puppies and buffalo free buffalo wings, you might try A Wild Road Trip with Rooster in Buffalo Wings by Aaron Reynolds. Bye for now.